We have learned the suspect has a history of mental illness. And another court document could explain why the sheriff's office says this was a targeted attack. Sam Kramer live in the newsroom. And Sam, we've learned the man filed a lawsuit against the sergeant. Heather Ben and Stephanie filed it in federal court only three weeks ago. He accuses the sergeant and others of violating his rights while he was an inmate at the jail last year. Now, the man's handwritten complaint says jail staff should have observed him for suicidal and homicidal reasons, but he says that didn't happen. He accuses this sergeant of, quote, walking away with food while he was there. The document also includes a court-ordered mental health evaluation of the man. The psychologist diagnosed him with schizophrenia and other psychotic disorder and warned, quote, should he discontinue use of his medications, he is vulnerable to experiencing a period of psychiatric decline and behavioral dysregulation. The sheriff's office wouldn't talk about the suspect's history, but commended its jail staff Tuesday. These officers come into work every day, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, to do an extremely difficult job, a dangerous job, and quite frankly, a job that not everybody can do. The suspect is also accused of violence inside the jail while he was there on a different case. Prosecutors say the man punched a correctional officer in the face last May as they tried to move him between cells. Live tonight in the newsroom, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. We'll see what happens with this case. Sam, thanks.